At this time, I invite the children of the congregation to come forward for the children's message. Come on down, guys. This is a great children's message for you guys. Hi, Carter. Good morning. Welcome, guys. This is a great group. Look at this. All right, you guys look amazing. And you guys have wonderful grandparents, too. I have to ask you a question. How many of you like help all the time? Do you guys ever want to do it yourself? Yeah. Yeah, you don't need any help, do you, Carter? You can feed yourself. You can probably put your shoes on, right? Sort of. What about you guys? Can you get dressed by yourselves? Do you need grandma's help once in a while? Sometimes you need grandma's help. Zayden's moved on, right? All right, Zayden. That's good. <laughs> well, I got some good news for you. Pastor Fred doesn't like help either sometimes. I was fishing with my nephew this past weekend, and I'm not going to say how, but a fish hook accidentally ended up in Pastor's chin. And I needed to get some help. So I had to go to the doctor, and they shot me up with something so it wouldn't hurt, and then they ripped the hook right out of me. And there's no scar. They did a really good job. So you can't even tell. But it was good. Pastor Fred needs help. Now, sometimes when I talk to people, they don't want God's help. And I got some news for you. Everybody needs God's help. All of us do, right? And so I think this is a good time to say a prayer. And even when we don't need God's help, we need to be able to say, God, you can help me, okay? Let's hold our hands and pray. Dear Jesus, sometimes we need your help. Every day, actually. Even on the days when I don't want your help, send your spirit so that I might wise up and accept the help that only you can offer. I'm forgiven and you provide for me every day. Amen. You guys are excused to go back and sit with your grandparents.